Should we talk about AEW's television program this past Wednesday night? I was wondering where you were going with that. Yes, we could do that. Well, the world of AEW, and I guess, am I apparently a trending again as we're talking now because of something that I was not even involved in, but the AEW fans just hate me to begin with? It's been about a day or so, and yes, you are trending, you have been trending, you continue to trend, you're a very trendy guy. Trendy McTrenderson. So, Riho has gotten off of Twitter. I never tweeted her that I'm aware of, and I didn't follow her, so I didn't know about this, but I read about it from people tweeting me saying, well, it's your fault. So how did I, how was I responsible for Riho getting off of Twitter? From the best of my knowledge, what happened was Riho deactivated her Twitter account. And people right away, well, I shouldn't say people, a subsect of fans ran right away with the idea that she's being harassed by Jim Cornette's fans. And they came to this conclusion because Riho said nothing. <laughs> they came to this conclusion because in the past, Kenny Omega has complained about fans in North America being vocal on Twitter with... Oh, the ones they broadcast their television program to. The fans in North America, where their company is located. That's right. So Riho deactivated her Twitter, and people jumped to the conclusion that it was because of you. And I've not seen anything explicitly say that Riho quit Twitter because English-speaking fans were harassing her. So I hate to just jump to conclusions like that. Unfortunately, a lot of people did. And again, this is so someone that they have never met gets off of Twitter. And this is a reason for them to have violent fantasies of my immediate death. I think the one, the one guy tweeted and some people reported him, I guess they, they took it down or it violated policies or whatever. I hope Jim Cornette and all of his family die horrible, grisly deaths. Oh, no, it was all the listeners. It was anyone who's a fan oh, and of all yours. His listeners, we too. should all perish because all. Riho got off Twitter. Because she got, again, she got off Twitter. She got off Twitter. She's going to Twitch, maybe. Because she's going to Twitch instead of Twit. Who gives a shit? Are you serious? She is a grown woman. Have we established she's in her 30s? She's not in her third. <laughs> I don't think didn't we've established we say, that. Didn't we no. say that? She's like 30, 31, 32. Is she, how old is she? Hold on. No, I think she's in her 20s. Riho is 25 years old. Okay, she's 25 years old then. She just, she's got miles on her. She is, if, if the headline was, Riho has been deprived of food. Or Riho is diabetic and, and the, her insulin is being withheld. Or Riho is in the middle of a heat wave and has no electricity. That may, and, and it's all the fault of those Cornette fans. Well, you might have something to hang your hat on there. But she got off Twitter. She's an adult with a high-paying job that she's not particularly good at. I think she'll be just fine. And as we mentioned last week on the program, it's at this point, not even her fault. It's theirs for thinking that this would get over, for telling her that she's a great professional wrestler because of the culture they have in Japan that has these young girls doing all these weird things that they got no business doing because it looks ridiculous when they do it. Uh, so. It, and, and it's not like, it's not. did I invent this line of thinking that if I'm watching professional wrestling, why do I want to see a four foot 10, 90 pound girl dressed in taffeta? No, but if anyone says something that you may have said at any point on any show at any point in history, it gets sent back to you. They're repeating Jim Cornette. So obviously Jim Cornette's the blame for all of this. Is it my fault just because I'm the only person anybody knows? Well, it is a very popular series of shows we do here, but a couple things. One, you know, when I heard this news, I had two thoughts. One was, of course, Hana Kimura, who passed away via suicide after being harassed by Japanese 
I don't even think it was wrestling fans. Was it wrestling fans or just Japanese no, fans no, of no, reality it, TV? It was, it was the, but here's the thing. They have, not to get on a soapbox here, but they have these girls. Not only do they do the wrestling thing with the Joshis, with the little small girls and the underage girls with the wrestler. We've seen the, vid- the video footage. But they also have the, what do they call them, the idol bands where they have them sing and make pop stars out of them. We were talking about the monkeys a little while ago. It's not necessarily that they have musical talent, but that they are cute oh, young girls. That's what, She was on a reality show, Hana Kimura. That's what it was. Yes, and, and then they have reality TV shows where they put these, either the pop idols or the whatever on the end. She did some innocuous thing to anybody in the American culture or whatever, but it was something that they thought badly of over there and harassed her about it. The fans, this reality show on Twitter, and she committed suicide, which is horrible. And that's again, that's why I maintain that some people do not, should not be public figures. And it doesn't just, it, if, if, if Riho's a 25 year old adult making six figures, literally working part time for AEW plus whatever the fuck else. Um, and she has to get off Twitter. It's not like giving up food or fucking or, or goddamn or, you know, dialysis. But at the same time, some people don't, if they, you can't be a public figure and expect everybody to love you and say good things. And as we've known with Twitter, this has been the opportunity for every asshole that's ever existed now to be able to say shit to people that they would have never been able to even talk to or get near before. And you got to expect that. And if you don't let block them, I love to block people. Because it, it's it's it less effort than wiping dog shit off my shoe. You say something smart, Alec, to me, you're going to get blocked if I see it and have time. But some people can't be public personalities. But again, even you now are doing what other people are doing. You're assuming the reason why this person who gave no reason deactivated no, I was Twitter talking account. about I was talking about... Hana Hana Kimura. Hana Kimura. God damn it, I can't say it now. But yes, but in it, I'm not so whatever Riho. So she got off Twitter. The people are mad that she had to get off Twitter. Like that is depriving her of some major portion of her fucking life. And why? And why would she be upset about it if she didn't want to put up with people fucking saying shit about her on Twitter? Then she got off of Twitter, or for whatever reason, she got off of Twitter. Yeah, what's her home life like? For anyone who wants to jump to assumptions, is Rio allowed to leave the house when she's in America? Is Rio allowed to just talk to anyone backstage without Kenny's permission? So before anyone jumps to conclusions about why Rio may have gotten off Twitter, let's examine everything. But let me go back a step, Jim. I don't think anyone should be harassing Rio or anyone on Twitter. If someone gives you a problem, give them a problem back. And give a problem a lot harder. But if no one's giving you a problem, mind your own business. That doesn't mean you can't critique something on TV that you're watching. You can. But no one should be harassing Riho or anyone else. But for these fans, and again, it's a small subset of fans. They're harassing me. They, well, that's what I'm about to say. <laughs> There's a ninny wrestling audience. They're straight. They're gay. They're employed. They live in a basement. There's a ninny audience that are miserable and are just looking to take things down and take things out on other things. And you're obviously a big target for AEW fans with this Riho thing. Listen, I don't know what kind of, again, from English speaking fans, I don't know what she's reading on English speaking Twitter. I just literally don't know. And I don't know what kind of harassment she is or isn't getting on there. Jim and I both get lots of things from people who declare themselves AEW fans, wishing us death, wishing harm to our families. In this case that you talked about earlier, wishing harm to the listeners. We get this all the time. But you know what happens when all you... All the time. And, and you when, know, like that, it just, that, that's what bothers me. Because it's like, if Jim Cornette... I said this in the uh, Cult of Cornette Facebook group. If Jim Cornette deactivated his Twitter tomorrow, 
because of the most recent, I don't even know if you call it a death threat, wish of harm that came in, which just came in this morning. If that caused him to deactivate his Twitter, would this conversation be flipped the other way? That AEW fans are out of control. That AEW is at responsibility for these nutcase fans that can't take criticism of their product. It's a double standard. It's ridiculous. And again, until Rio comes out and says something, don't assume anything. Well, besides that, I've never tweeted Riho to begin with. I've never told anybody to tweet Riho to begin with. And honestly, I can see where you would come off like an asshole if Johnny Dipshit in Des Moines said the same thing about Riho's wrestling that I do. Because Johnny Dipshit in Des Moines is not a fucking nearly goddamn 45 year fucking veteran of being involved in this business or one of the most successful track records at almost everything in it. So I get an opinion about her wrestling. Is she a good cook? I don't fucking know. Not my goddamn wheelhouse, as they say. I don't know anything else about her personal life or what her interests are, hobbies, or talents. But her wrestling ain't gonna cut it. And that's what I'm qualified to comment on. Ah. But that's the thing. It's like the idea that you're not allowed. And again, I think there probably are, because there are for us. I'm basing it on what we see, the feedback we see, and you see it a lot worse than me. There are crazy fans who are going to say crazy things and act in crazy ways, and you block them. You move on with your life. If it gets crazy enough, you turn it over to the police. That's it. You wash your hands of it. No one should be harassing Riho, but if that's really the reason she deactivated Twitter, I want to hear that, because everyone's jumping to the assumption that it's Jim Cornette fans. And trust me, whether it's fans of AEW or fans of these individual wrestlers, we get it. <laughs> we get it as bad as anyone could get it. So give me a break. Well, give me a break. and besides that, again, it's I know I'm the most well-known personality involved in wrestling podcasting today. So everybody just naturally assumes that I come up with everything first, but it's not a stretch to think that many wrestling fans, especially fans of the territories and or legitimate professional wrestling would have the same basic impression of Miss Riho that I have and the whole Joshi fetish that Kenny has foisted off on that company and wasted millions of dollars of their money in payroll and transportation over a period of time. But as far as anybody who wishes me any harm, you know what Mama Cornette used to say? Oh, no. Wish it in one hand and shit in the other one and see which one fills up first. You know what else Mama Cornette used to say? What's that? Get a job, get off the computer, and get your dick sucked. I don't remember her ever say she's that wasn't she her? actually she never even had to say <laughs> the first one because I had a job by the time I was legally old enough to have a job. Yeah, with you it was you're working too much. Actually, she did <laughs> say that a couple of times, but nevertheless.